sin, it will kill you. The Bible says the wages of sin is death. You will continue to live a life of death. And then until you eventually die and perish and go to hell. But God doesn't want you to stay in sin. God wants you to live a life that's holy and sanctified by Him. God wants to give you peace. God wants to give you everlasting life. But if we protect the freak of God, we will burn in everlasting fire. For God so loved the world that He sent His only begotten Son. But have everlasting life. If we reject God, the wrath of God will be upon us. Because Jesus said, if we reject Him, then he will protect us. The Bible doesn't say, live however you want and you will be saved. The Bible says, call on to God. Jesus will be saved. That's what the Lord says. And the Lord wants to give you everlasting peace. He wants to give you hope. He sees your tears. He sees the frustration. He sees everything. Yo, check him. He sees the frustration. He sees everything that you're going through. You're confusing. God is not a God of confusion. He's a God of peace. He's a God of peace. And he loves you so much. He loves everything about who you are because the Bible says you are made And after his life, he hates the relationship that you have with the world. The Bible says in James 4, 4 that a friend of the world is an enemy to God. Being a companion. Not meaning if you like to take pictures and look at the sky. But whatever you do. You weren't enough. God is saying that you are enough. God is saying that he loves you. But God is saying he hates sin. He hates idolatry. He hates everything that goes against his word. He hates everything that separates you from him because he loves you. And the only reason that we are alive is to spread the word of God. To have fellowship with God. To become one with God. Not to become one with an ego team. I love sports myself. I watch sports. Everything. But I'm here with a simple message. We have to turn away from the idolatry. We have these players and these coaches, etc., in our house that our children wear, the jerseys, etc. This is idolatry. It's simple idolatry. Exalting someone else over the knowledge of God. Repent. This simply means to change your mind. It doesn't matter if you're here for work, if you're here for fun, you pay for your ticket, whatever you're here for free, you still need to repent and accept Jesus Christ. It simply means to change your mind. Right? Change your ways to his ways, from wickedness to holiness, from revelry to righteousness. I'm here with a simple message, and it's that Jesus Christ died for the sins of this world, and he is returning again. This time, the first time he came as a teacher, next time he's coming back as a judge. And it's very simple, and there's only one way. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father except through me. If you do not have Jesus Christ in your heart when you die, that will be it. There is no reincarnation. There is no second chances. Once you die, that is it. You get one life. I'm here as a living testimony. Go birds, go birds. That's fine. I don't mind the Eagles. Sure. Hope they win. But the point of the matter is I'm here because of Jesus Christ. And he sent me out here to talk to you in the middle of your busy lives, in the middle of the drinking and the revelry. Jesus Christ came to set the captives free. And he can free you and redeem you from bondage. Believe in Jesus Christ. It's very simple. There is one, there is one God. There's only one true God. That is Yahweh of the Bible. Satan comes to steal, kill, and destroy. And he wants to destroy every single thing about you. He hates you. He wants to distract you with porn. He wants to distract you with drugs. He wants to distract you with drinking. He wants, he wants, he wants to distract you. But your mind is clouded. You can't even think when you're on, when you're on drugs. Repent. 
Believe in the gospel it simply means it's a change of mind. Stop the, stop moving so fast. That's the message. If you do not accept this message, you will perish. It is very simple. There is one God. And Jesus Christ is the only way to him. God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, so that you should not perish but have everlasting life. But the beautiful here, not be good. Over there. Not in here. Okay, I'll back up right there, and then we'll be good, right? Over there, by the way. Not inside, but in Okay, so you're saying that way, but where are we, where are we stopping? Where's the stopping point? Over there where the cars are, not in here. Okay, no problem. I, either, I, I, I address it or somebody else want to address it. So I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't have a problem with that, bro. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just hope this soul is with Jesus Christ and you will save because the world is coming to an end. It might sound like rubbish going in and out of your ear, but your soul is up for grabs. If you do not know Jesus Christ, you will burn in hell. It's that simple. The Bible says the, the wrath of God abides on the unbelievers. Amen. Except of God, no idolater will inherit the kingdom of God. No liar, no thief will inherit the kingdom of God. You see? He loves you so much and he doesn't want you to be tossed from to and fro with the world because the world will deceive you The world will destroy you. The world will puff you up and make you prideful But God says that he resists the proud and he gives grace to the humble. Let me tell you something God He is a God of light. He is not a God of darkness when you walk in darkness But you don't have Jesus as your Savior. You don't know where you're going. You're headed for destruction You're headed for pain. You're headed for misery. But when you have the light of God inside of you by repenting of your sins, you will live forever. You will never die. Your soul will be satisfied. The void that you all have, it will be filled with the Holy Ghost. He will help you. He will comfort you. He will be your advocate. But if you reject Jesus Christ, you will feel the wrath of God. You will feel the wrath of Satan because he will be your father. Instead of Jesus and the uh, going on, God bless you. Instead of Jesus being your God, instead of Jesus. The one that you call on to. Right. It would be Satan if you reject Praise him. Lord. If you reject him, you are obeying Satan. Uh, Jesus Christ in your life, you will burn in hell. You will be headed towards destruction. You will be in darkness. You will be bitter. You will be jealous. You will be envious of everything. But if you have him, he will give you peace. He will give you hope. He will give you joy. He will give you everything that you need to go on in your life. But if you continue to mock, if you continue Burn your eyes. If you continue to reject him, he will reject you, and you will burn his darkness. He doesn't want you to burn his darkness. But that's what most people will have. Most people will, will go to destruction. Most people will go to hell. Because the broad path will lead to destruction. But the narrow path in Christ, it will lead to life. Everlasting life. Life that won't perish. And only few will find it. God is the God of life. He wants you to experience life. He wants you to experience rest. He wants you to experience power over the enemy. If you don't turn to Jesus today, you are turning to Satan. There is no in between. There is no serve God only on Sunday and the other six days of the week in the world. God says, be holy as I am holy. He says, I am God every day. He says, my mercies are new every morning. He's saying, my faithfulness will never fail you. The eagles will fail you. Life will fail you. Your mother, your father, your wife, your husband, they will fail you. Every human being will fail you. But Jesus Christ will never fail you. Jesus Christ will never depart from you. Jesus Christ will never forsake you. Jesus Christ will never leave you. But you have to Jesus Christ. You have to Christ. And when you turn to Jesus Christ, you turn to death. Because the way you are sin is death. Oh, <laughs>